I'm going to show you how to play chords on the keyboard and the first thing you want to know are the names of the notes. If you look for a white key that has the shape of a letter B and it's to the left side of two of the black keys, that note is a C. Wherever you find those two black keys on the keyboard, the note that's going to be to the left of that is going to be another C note. It might be higher. Or lower. But all those are C notes. Once you know that, then as you go from one note to the next, heading to the right, you're just going to go up the alphabet. The musical alphabet only goes up to G. C, D, E, F, G. Once you get to G, the alphabet starts all over again at the beginning, which would be A. A, B, and now we're back at C again. So the first thing you want to do is to memorize those notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If you play those notes starting from one C and ending up on the next C, what you're getting is called the major scale or the Do, Re, Mi scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Most melodies in music use the notes from the major scale. Major is a happy sound. Later on we'll talk about minor, which is kind of a sad sound. Now we want to build some chords on top of those notes. And the way to do that is to use your right hand. You're going to use your thumb on the C note. Then you're going to skip a white key and you're going to go to E and use your index finger on that note. We're going to skip another white key and go to the G note and use your ring finger on that note. When you play all those notes together, you're getting a C major chord. If I move up to the next white key with my thumb, that's a D. Remember C, D. And again, I'm going to skip a white key each time. So now I have D, F, and A. If you can tell the difference, this chord has kind of a sad sound. That tells you that it's a minor chord. So the name of this chord is going to be D, because that's what I'm playing with my thumb, a D minor. Then I move to the next white key, which is E, and again I'm skipping a note each time. Can you tell if that one sounds happy or sad? That's another sad chord, that's E minor. Then I move up to the next three notes. Again, I'm skipping a white key each time. The thumb is on F. That has a happy sound. That's F major. Then I move again. Now my thumb is on G. Again, that's a happy sound, so that is G major. I move up one more key to A, skip a white key each time. Does that sound happy or sad? When you get to the higher sounding notes, it can be a little deceiving because since it sounds bright and high, you automatically think of that as being happy. But you want to uh, disregard the sound of the high or low notes and just listen for a happy or sad. That has kind of a sad sound, so that's A minor. 
When we get to the seventh note, which is B, if we play a chord starting from that note, what we end up with is a chord that's called a diminished chord. It has kind of an odd sound to it. It's not really used that much, so for now we're not going to worry about the B chord. We'll get back to that later. What you want to do to practice these chords is just start with your C and then move to D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, just those six chords and start by learning those. The next thing we want to do is uh, talk about major and minor. Remember we started off with C major. You can take any chord and change it back and forth between major or minor. If I want to change C major to C minor, what I do is take the middle note, which is where my index finger is on the uh, E note, and I want to move it one note lower. And when I say one note lower, that's going to include any of the black keys that might be next door. So I'm going to move my first finger from the E note to the black key to the left of that note. The black keys are called sharps and flats. If I start with C and I go to the black key next to it, that's called C sharp. If you uh, think of it uh, sharp, if somebody sticks you in the butt with something sharp, you're going to jump up. So sharp, you're going up or higher. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Now you notice there's a couple of spots on the keyboard where there's no black key in between. When you go from E to F, you're not going to have an E sharp or F flat. Then you go to F, you have F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Going back to our C major chord, to change that to a minor, I take the middle note where my index finger is and I move it one note lower to the black key, which is E flat. Now I'm getting that minor sound. C minor. The next chord we did was D minor, remember? Now we want to change D minor to a major chord, D major. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take that middle note, which is now first finger on F, we're going to move that one note higher. So we're going to F sharp. Now we have that happy sound, D major, D minor, D major. You want to practice that with all six chords that we did. If we go to the next chord, it's E minor. To change that to a major, we take the middle note, which is now a G, and we move it one note higher to G sharp. It's E major. The next chord was F. To go from major to minor, we take the middle note, in this case A, and we lower it one note to A flat. Now we have that minor sound. G major, G minor. One way to remember which direction to move that middle note, when you're going from major to minor, usually you think of major as being something big, and minor 
as being something small. When you're moving from something big to small, you're going lower. So when you're going from your G major and you want to move that middle note, you're going from major to minor, bigger to smaller or lower, so we want to move that note lower. And the same thing when you're going from minor to major, here's A minor. We're going from minor to major, so we're going bigger or higher. So the middle note goes up one note. So you want to practice all your chords, C, D, E, F, G, and A, switching back and forth between major and minor. Let's go back to the B chord because that was the one that was a little bit different. When you play B, you're going to start with your thumb on your B note. Then your first finger is going to go way over here to our D sharp note. And then your third finger is going to go to F sharp. So you have a white key, a black key, and a black key. To change that to minor, remember we want to move the middle note lower, so it's going to move to the D note. So that covers all seven chords in their major and minor versions. Now there are some other chords too. You can take a chord that starts on C sharp and do a C sharp major chord. And you can change that to a minor, C sharp minor. Those chords are not used quite as much and we're not going to worry about those right now. So I just want you to focus on C through B, major and minor.